Let me not get too ahead of myself. Three years ago, I made this incredibly robust suitcase to store all my valuables. It had this convenience of the need of a key to open it, which I have lost three keys already and am on my fourth. It was done with the most wonderful craftsmanship as you can see all the putty that we used. It was largely made of MDF to increase the weight of the whole thing. Everything is still as robust as it was, since the padlock is still in good shape after I dropped the lid on it. The corners are well designed to allow emergency break-ins. The front of the case has a huge lap joint to increase the strength of the suitcase. The crack is especially designed to allow better ventilation inside the case. The whole lid is able to wiggle around to allow for storing larger items. It was a great suitcase until I came across the combination lock on woodgaze.ca, which inspired me to build a combination lock plus a safe to substitute my grand suitcase. Therefore, I spent two months at school designing Mark 1. I always felt like it wouldn't work and one thing got in front of it then another, so I never came back to it until two years later I saw a YouTube video about the Natalis door locking mechanism, which inspired me to com combine this locking mechanism with the combination lock. So it was another couple of weeks in SketchUp redesigning the whole thing. This time however, I started the project as soon as I finished designing it. I didn't take any video of the build process because I wasn't sure whether it was going to work or not. So this is the heart of the lock, which makes it a combination lock. I used four rotors instead of the usual three because I felt it would be more secure. But I don't think it really matters because it's still a wooden safe. Uh, here's the majority of the locking mechanism. I designed it to use acrylic for the back so that people can see the inner workings. This is the box which proved my table saw to be horrible at making mitre cuts. I didn't attach the back on until the very end when everything was working so that I could fiddle with the inside. The safe mostly completed. Before varnishing, I burnt the numbers onto the dial using my wood burner. I added four more hinge leaves to the box because the original two just weren't strong enough. Then I took everything apart for two coats of varnish. The varnish I used didn't say not to wipe it on using a rag. So instead of using a brush, I wiped it on and it turned out really good. It was really thin, therefore it didn't add too much thickness to the components. So everything still works nicely after varnishing. So here's the finished product compared to the one I designed in SketchUp. A little bit different, but actually works. To wrap this up, I think I am going to destroy its competition. Didn't do as much damage as I hoped it would.